Hello and welcome to another episode with Sundu. And we are in a very elliptical orbit around Eve. Took a lot longer than um uh normal like it took Duna. Getting to Duna was pretty easy. Um I don't know why this one was so hard, mostly because I think it's closer to closer to home and curb a curbin, so I don't know why. But this one took a little bit longer to get to. But we're trying to just send a rover. See what it takes to get there. Um uh, you know, just I guess the usual stuff, uh after this mission. I'm hoping to send a manned uh a manned mission to uh Duna. So so yeah, uh, we're pretty high in, uh, high in the atmosphere, and the atmosphere gets to about well, the atmosphere is a lot higher in uh, Eve than it is on Kerbin, so it starts at ninety six thousand meters instead of uh, Kerbin's, where it's seventy. Uh, well, it starts at around seventy thousand meters. So I try and bring down my elliptical orbit uh, and then I just kinda get myself drug into the I didn't have a whole lot of fuel so I couldn't really use um, the uh, fuel to get me onto a desired target so I just had to slow down and get to my apoapsis get it get the periapsis uh, below 96,000 or yeah n around 96,000 uh, meters, and then I was, uh, then I'll go on from there to get slowed down by the atmosphere, so, so yeah. So here we are. Our our uh, orbit's getting a lot smaller every every time uh, because of the friction friction of the uh, atmosphere. Right now it's just the rover because uh, I had to dump the the tank because that was useless now and that would just be more weight and probably make it a lot harder to stop instead of using regular just the rover itself. Um, so well we're getting down to the to the right altitude and since I didn't have enough fuel I couldn't direct myself over a uh, desired target which was land. Uh, but that might be for another mission. 
But this thing, uh, you'll see here when I get it on in the ocean. Uh, it's like it's like a uh, boat, so it just floats there, and it can it can it can drive on the water. Um, but it, it moves very, very slow, so it's not like I'm going to be exploring a whole lot with that rover. <laughs> unless I spend ages trying to get it to, to the closest land object, which is that island. But that island is a whole lot to explore. So the chutes are deployed, and uh, since it is a lot higher up, it deploys at the right altitude like it would at um uh like it would on Kerbin. So it slows us down pretty well. So we'll just go on from here I guess. Alright, so we come down to a good enough altitude. Start talking again and everything. Um, but yeah, we have touchdown on on water, which isn't bad because this can go in water. So I was wondering why <laughs> why I couldn't get up. I had the hardest time. And then I realized I had some dip just some unneeded weight on the top. I tried to open my wheels to see if I can just get my wheels to pull me back up. And I realized... Well, not now, I don't think, but I don't exactly remember. There we go, yeah, Then I, that's when I realized I had the unneeded weight on the rover. So, like I said, this can drive in water, but it's very, very slow. So, eh, it it'll be all right, I guess, in water. But, uh, extend the panels here in a bit. And, uh, yeah. So, like, favorite, subscribe, all that jazz. Um, comment, share, uh, and, uh, expect a manned mission to Duna, uh, hopefully, next, next episode. Uh, so, yeah. Bye.